I'm going to discuss my culture shocks moving from South Africa to the United Kingdom. That's like two completely different continents, two completely different cultures, black people, white people. You get me? <laughs> Do my language. Hello. Hi, my name is Millicent, but you can also call me Millie and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm actually going to be telling you guys the culture shocks that I experienced as a South African girl moving to the United Kingdom at 18 years old. I was 18 when I moved, like I moved on my own. It was crazy, but I experienced so many different things that like, girl, girl, let's get straight into it. Let's get straight into it. If you see me on my phone, just know that I'm looking at the list, all right? So the very first culture shock was literally the weather. As in, I moved to Cardiff, like I was in Wales. Wales, I'm from Wales, I'm from the valleys. And it's not cute. The rain, it was raining. I moved in September. It was raining back to back for like two months straight. No stop, like it was continuously gray. I knew I was going to a gray country, but like I didn't think it was that deep. Also because when I went, so I visited the UK like two years before or something, just to see how it was going and blah, 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 blah. And it was summer, so it was hot. And I was in London, so it was hot. And I'm like, what, what do I actually do? No, but what do I actually do? What's all of this? What's all of this, bro? <laughs> hey, you wouldn't call it, guys. It wasn't spooky. We like in a rain. So it was raining every day. You're going to lectures. You're going to uni. It's pour like it's pouring. I had to get raincoats. I had to get umbrellas. I had to get different shoes because it was not giving. It was. It's always rain. It's always raining. It's literally always rain. Like there's no sun. What's the sun doing? What's the for what? Who is the sun? You know the sun. I also think that's why people like the state of living is just like down bad because people are actually depressed there's no sun you need that vitamin c d vitamin some you need that period and then on the flip side of the coin literally i was shocked that the uk had summer i just didn't like, i couldn't understand it i couldn't deep it because when like you know when you think of london like you, when you're not from the uk when you think of london you're thinking it's cold it's rainy it's snow it's gray chris white christmas all of that tell me why london gets so hot not even london the uk gets so hot as in boiling as in the heat wave the temperatures is not giving is giving ghetto because why am i sweating in the middle of summer in june in the uk how am I not sweating in summer in South Africa, but I'm sweating in summer in the UK? Let's talk about it. Let's actually deep it. Let's talk about it. Because what? what? What do you actually mean? On a serious note, the summer is so hot. Like, it's because, I think it's because the buildings are made to keep in heat because obviously 90% of the time it's like cold. But like the one month, like June, June, July, like prime summertime, like right now, is boiling like it's it's humid it's like a humid kind of heat where you're just like Ugh, i can't breathe i can't and there's no air conditioning anyway so it's literally not gonna work for you the second culture shock i had is the public transport systems they are so efficient like they are so listen if the bus <gasps> if the bus says it's leaving at 10 past 10 and you come 11 minutes past 10, best believe it's gone. You come 10 minutes past 10, it's gone. Y'all, I need to do a story time on the time I got to Heathrow. I landed in Heathrow and I had a coach to go... No, I landed in Stansted and I had a coach to Heathrow to take the train. Hey, did the, did the coach not leave me? Did the bus not leave me? Do you know what? I wasn't even late. I wasn't even late, but that man left. He saw me, he had a conversation with me, and then he left. Hmm. Gig. Job, hang gig. 
that time it's freezing it's like 7 a.m i just landed from south africa i'm exhausted i'm like what 18 19 years old it's probably like my second time traveling like doing the route traveling back to to the uk from south africa and it was just crazy like i cried i literally had to cry because first of all the tickets are not cheap i bought i had already bought a ticket from let's not get into the story because it's gonna get me emotional and we don't need to we don't need to do that but anyways the public transport system is so efficient like the coaches the coach like coach slash bus the buses um the trains the train is insane as in like the train i used to be doing up london birmingham not london but cardiff birmingham cardiff birmingham cardiff birmingham cardiff nottingham cardiff london cardiff tour the uk i'm telling you i was doing a whole tour the uk because the train system was so efficient like you literally just get there you get your tesco meal deal it's like a little sandwich some chips and and a drink you sit you watch your movie you listen to your music you watch the scenery and two hours later you're in london trust me like it's so but it's expensive though it's real pricey the train the train prices were looking a bit booky still like what's that about i don't know so yeah the transportation system like the buses the trains you genuinely don't need a car like if you can't walk everywhere you go you can literally just take a train a local train uh non-local train a bus what other things that they have those are the two but there's like they're so efficient you could use them whereas in south africa we have taxis i ain't getting in no taxi i ain't gonna cap so i'm gonna have to make a bet i'm not gonna have to uber everywhere or do, or take a how train or something but there i could either walk or i could literally take the train from like if for example if you're in south africa if i'm taking it if i want to go from like santon to rosebank i'd have to like get an uber okay but i could get a how train Okay, if you're trying to get from four ways to Santon, you need to get an Uber. Whereas in the UK or in Cardiff, if I was trying to get from like Cardiff Central to like Berry Island, I just literally just took a train. Just take a train. It's actually not that deep. And it was, the local ones are really cheap. Like you can get like a five pound a day thing and it's just, anyways, cool. Another culture shock. I'm gonna need this camera to zoom into my face. Let's see, so, The racism in the united kingdom is atrocious it's disgusting it is unbelievable that in the 21st century that is how you that is how your mind processes things that is your beliefs that's what you think are you dumb are you actually dumb if we get into i'm gonna do another story listen i think i need to do some story times on my channel because not the time not my colleague calling me a nigga with the hard er <laughs> I say he said it multiple times you know I'm still traumatized from that story like I'm actually still so traumatized because I couldn't believe it I had never experienced that and people thought because I came from South Africa where there was apartheid and apartheid where there was apartheid and I, I experienced racism I actually didn't like I might experience it on like you know microaggressions like on a higher level whatever but like face to face to my face and you know me? I got her like you know who I am. Yo, when it's tour, I I'm I'm shook till this day. But anyways, the racism is disgusting. Like the white people there genuinely think they are the best things since sliced bread, and they think they're not racist because they don't come from racist countries like South Africa. But they're actually way more racist than South Africans on their own. So we need to actually just open that can and get into it and discuss it and reflect that you actually think you can just because it was said in a song, you think you can say it. You out just screaming, catch them in the club screaming, bro. There's three black people in the club, but everybody's screaming the word nigga. Somebody explain. Ah. That's a whole other top like I'm getting I'm getting vexed speaking about it. So let's not talk about it. But yeah, the racism is just it's disgusting. I've experienced racism in like McDonald's, rugby matches, um, my workplace, uni, just like even my it's racist. If you're gonna move to the UK, just know it's racist and accept it. Don't accept it, but like just know, just know that's what's up. Alright? Bet. Oh, 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 before I forget, if you are into club culture, 
If you want to go out and you are a black man, you are a black. If they see a group of black, because, okay, fun fact, I used to work in the club, right? So, God, God saved me from that place. Hallelujah, pray to God. But I used to work in the club. And they used to literally, like, what, what's the word? There's a word for it. If you were a group of black guys coming to the club, you better have your story together. You better have your money together. There has to be a reason why you're there because you can't just walk in. But these white boys just be doodly 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 in. If you're a black boy, if you're if you're going on holiday to the UK with the mandem, with your boys, the boys, the boys like oh UK, thank you. Please, like it's actually so racist. Even the girls, like they'll be looking at you and they'll be profile. They'll be profiling you. They have no shame. Like the profiling is insane. It's literally insane. On a lighter note, because the racism thing was getting to my chest. <laughs> Come up, me chest. Yeah, now time. Black, flat. On a lighter note, another culture shock was the currency. Till today, I can't tell you what 2p is. Like, I can't tell you how 20p makes sense. Because listen keep it on 10 pound five pound you know upwards i think like the minimum i can do that i understand is 50p which is like half of a pound that's it like anything else i literally just couldn't understand it because one pound is so when i first moved i was consistently like doing the exchange rate like okay so this thing is 10 pounds so that means it's 200 rand because five pounds is 100 rand but the moment you put the 50 p's and what do I do? Yo, I can lose so much money. Like I used to work, <laughs> I used to work in a restaurant, right? Marco Pierre. And sometimes we take cash and they had like these coins. I won't cap. The 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 stock taking, like the check, like the money thing. You know what they, you know at the end of the day when they check in the money, if it didn't but if the cash didn't balance, it's because of me. Because sometimes I actually have to give this person like 25p. What does that even look like? What is that? Is that is that even a real amount? Like, why is that your change, bro? Just I'll just give you fifty p because what are we even doing with cents? Come on now, Chelsea. Come on now. Another culture shock, right? Not that it's a bad thing, but there are no guns in the UK, as in it's illegal to have guns in the United Kingdom. Y'all know those people. If you ever if you ever come to South Africa, or if you're South African watching this, you know those people who who have those like ak-47s when they're doing the bank transfers or like atm stuff where they're like taking out money and transporting money none of that no guns like no even the police don't have guns like there's no guns they have tasers are you actually being serious like if they brought tasers to south africa please will we actually take this the police seriously imagine you're in the middle of alex and then the police is don't run got taser oh what about this <laughs> be for real so there's literally there's literally no guns and it's it's weird to my british friends when i say there's like guns are legal in south africa my, my dad used to have a gun like it wasn't a weird thing like i used to see his gun in his safe from time to time but there it's like the moment they see a gun or like if there's like gun violence it's like crazy like what do you mean because there's a lot of knife violence because obviously guns are illegal so that's why they shank you up you know that's where the drill boys will be like shum, shum, shum. first things first man got chef by oh y'all know that song my big four five it came with fries Gee. nah i used to know the lyrics first things first man got chef by mm. then don't know what to say about that drill drill goes hard what, what's the guy's name a a I've actually gotten quite a few culture shocks. I think I need to do a part two to this video because the way when I was writing this list, I just they were just coming out like vomit. So if you want a part two, let me know in the comment section and I got you. Big part. <laughs> the next culture shock is the moment you hit 18, your parents basically disown you in the UK. No cap. Let's be for real. Why are as in like you know in South Africa? 
as I was saying, you know in South Africa, when you finish like matric, which is um, sixth form, that situation, when you finish your sixth form, you not in sixth form, A levels, basically, when you finish your A levels and you're about to go to uni, South Africa version, when you finish matric. When you finish matric, your parents still take care of you. Like you're still under your parents' arms. You might be going off to university or whatever, but you're still under your parents' shelter or like protection. In the UK, Lina, the mo it's like the day you hit 18 they're like okay get out and i'm like what what's that about you start paying rent in your own house you're 18 bro you're 18 or they tell you to go find a place go find a job go also another cup just quickly jumping into this there's so many young people who work like who have jobs like you'll be 14 15 like working a full-time job not a full-time job part-time obviously but you're working whereas in south africa you don't work until like some people don't even work until their first job is after they finish university like after they get their degree that's the first time they have a job which is the same for me like i never had a job when i was in high school that's not normal i would cap that's not that was so weird to me it's so normalized in the uk like kids go to work mcdonald's Tesco's, um, H&M, whatever it is, the kids are working, which was so weird to me. But yeah, like once you hit 18, they, they're trying to kick you out. They say, listen, you better you better figure yourself out. The person will be homeless because the parents don't want to take you in. That was, that was, that still confuses me to this day because I feel like as much as you're 18 and you have responsibility, there's still some type of shielding that has to happen and protection. Do you know what I mean? Like, I shouldn't be going to uni worrying about, okay, where am I going to stay during like recess time or like break time? Do you know what I'm saying? So, but anyways, each to their own. Another beautiful though, very beautiful culture shock. Mwah, magnificent. Next day delivery. <laughs> I'll eat it up. Next day delivery. There's no such thing in South Africa. What do you mean you ordered something at 10 p.m.? Like if I ordered something, it's it's 28 minutes past six right now. If I ordered something off Amazon and I said next day delivery, it would be at my door 9 a.m. tomorrow. 9 a.m. tomorrow. As in six a.m. she you nine in the morning. Ding dong. I got your package. I got a text. Ding dong. Like next day delivery was insane to me. Like how? How does that happen? PLT? You got an event tomorrow? You got a date, baby? Don't worry about it. You get a dress in the morning. Fruch in the morning. It'll be waiting for you. Actually, I miss Nick Day Delivery so much. Like, they need to. I don't know if South Africa has Amazon. I know we have Take a Lot, but we need to get Amazon because I feel like Amazon is on job. Like, Amazon, they understand the assignment because as much as the them, them employees low key be slaves, but they get the job done you get me in south africa like if you order something if i order something on take a lot right now brother i'm getting it in a week plus a week plus let's not even get into clothing there's no boohoo there's no plt zara i think delivers yeah zara does deliver but it takes forever um what else did i shop on there's no like club out london you know those nice online stores where you don't need to walk like into a shop to actually get items of clothing here i actually need to go to the mall and get items of clothing and i think instagram brands are bigger in south africa but i can't get into it like i can't buy on instagram i don't know i just feel like it's a bit weird for me so sorry sorry love i've got like four more points already but i think this video is getting a bit too long so if you want part two let me know let me know i got you but the other culture shock that I had, British people are borderline alcoholics. Borderline alcohol, as in any excuse to drink, they drink. Oh, I just picked up a book. Let's drink. Oh, we just finished our shift. Let's drink. Oh, it's 24 degrees today. Let's drink. Oh, those people drink like crazy. Like, like, like. <laughs> they drink like horrendously any excuse 
literally any excuse to get sloshed oh we're getting knackered go on boys come on they were they were doing like drinking games there's this thing that like the uni boys used to love doing they take a can they imagine a can of castle light nah, it's beer it used to be beer and then they'd open it i don't know how they'd open it and then they'd just chug it so what's her can so can i get it even bite it away man but not in like 10 seconds it was like a competition to finish that a can of beer in 10 seconds like vk's cardiff cardiff uni and vk's was just another pandemic on its own british people are just alcoholic do you know british people yeah black british now we're not just talking british now we're talking black british black british people think zims are like the alcoholics of the alcohol jamaicans yardies and zim people are like alcoholics and south african people of course southern africa alcoholics matter compared to British, like white like find white boys man at a uni first year white boys freshest party just find them just find them and just look at the alcohol consumption your liver is dying girl bye no absolutely not no and the last point for this video i wish i could get into the others because they're so juicy chill but the last point is hey i was shook I was discombobulated. The fast food in the UK is so mid. Like, it is so trash. McDonald's? Mid. Like, when you when you come from a McDonald's, like the South African McDonald's, that has, like, spicy McFeast, spicy chicken fold over, double quarter pounder with cheese. Do you get me? Jalapeno fries, jalapeno double. Do you, do you get me, what was this watermelon McFizz? Do you get do you get it? We actually have a profound menu. Then you go to the UK. The only thing you can eat is a double cheeseburger or a quarter pounder. Do you know what? I did like the rap of the days. They used to oh, oh <laughs> they used to have the rap of the day. I used to like the was it the sweet chili chicken? But uh, two pound. If it, if it was the rough of the day, it was what two pound ninety nine, three pound, something like that. Oh. That thing used to be my holy grail. Give us today our daily bread. That that wrap wrap of the day. God bless wrap of the day. The fast food there is so mid, and the fast food there is so unnecessarily expensive. Why am I paying twenty pound for a Domino's? Domino's is mid pizza. Let's just discuss that. The pizza is so mid. British pizza is mid. So you're paying 20 pounds for like a large pizza. Do you know what 20 pounds is? Let me. What's 20 pounds? Is it like a 400? How much is 20 pounds? Hold on. I'm going to tell you now. I stopped doing um, 459 rand. 459 rand for a large pizza and maybe like two sides of like wedges and like chicken wings. 400. Ewan, large pizza. Ewan, there's no way. There's actually no way. Domino's is so mid. I mean, I did eat it a lot because I I genuinely enjoy pizza, but it's so mid. British fast food is mid. They need to, honestly, just. And anybody knows that the moment you leave the UK, any McDonald's, any fast food you go to is gonna bust so hard because your standard is so mid. It's so mid. Y'all need to stop being mid. Anyways, guys, let me know what is the most interesting culture shock from this video. Let me know if you have any other questions, some story times. You know the story times I was speaking about? Those story times would actually be so buzzing because, hey, nothing I can I almost cried. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And see you next week.